need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV World Pierce. You're sitting there with the belt. You won a clean sweep on one of the cards as well. Um, you must be really satisfied with tonight. Yeah, I'm um, very happy. Gets a tough guy, got the win over um, a tough experienced lad, so I'm happy with the team, I'm happy we move on. I know you were saying at the press conference you did think Kane Gardner was a good fighter. What you expected him to bring or what your team looked at from him and told you he would bring, is that the same as what happened in the ring? Yeah, most definitely. Um, I knew he was going to, as I said, as I said in the press conference, like, I knew he was going to try to take the deep waters. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people um, refused him because of how difficult of a pound in the years. We didn't. We took him. We took him and um, we gave him nine weeks' notice, and um, got a full training camp. We got a full training camp, so it was equal fighters going in there. So it was great. Um, and obviously, the best man came out on top. Do we know you're a big puncher with a big? Reputation for that big bang for a reason, of course. Um, he was quite tentative at the start, um, so I suppose it was kind of you who had to, who had to make the moves and, and kind of find the find the gaps, I suppose. Yeah, um, I heard him a couple of times at the start, and um, I, I got his respect. But he, um, but yeah, listen, uh, I just don't know what I had to do. I stuck with the game plan, kept it simple, and then um, went through the rounds. Is it quite visible to you when when you've hurt a fighter? Obviously, there must be like kind of signs that they make, and could you tell with certain shots when you hit him that he was a bit like, oh yeah, th th this man has power. Yeah, hundred percent. Even when I was hit to the body and stuff like that, I felt I heard him, um, Winston, Wilson, whatever. Um, I could hear him; like, it, it was loud. So I knew eventually I was going to break him down. But at the stage, when I, I didn't want to chase him either, do you know what I mean? So I was like, stay calm, cool and collective, and then um, walk him onto a shot. And I done that, hurt him really, really bad. And I said, um, when I was chasing, I said, don't gash yourself, because I'm still early on in the fight, so I was stay calm. It was a really good performance. Um, a quick one about the cut above your left eye. Um, from a head clash, yeah? Yeah, I think it was from a head clash, yeah. Um, it was open, but then... Um, he turned the right hand. I think that was, that was it. Then that's when I actually I felt the, the, the blood rolling in my face from that. So, um, but yeah, listen, it goes to show. Dick in deep, showed me character, and goes to show in deep with um, cuts as well. So listen, there's no problem there. Yeah, I suppose it's it's not completely ideal, but you're gonna have to go through bits of adversity in your career. So to go through them, still come out on top, and still look good, um, couldn't really ask for much more, I guess. Yeah, it wasn't. It was entertaining. Everyone loved it. Um, it was. It was like it was dig for dig. And the, late, the last round was great. Um, we wanted to try. I knew he was going to try the kitchen sink at me, you know. So it was all about me being smart, block, catch, roll, step out, not take too much punishment, and um, step up again in, in the gears when he was. I mean, he was fatiguing. Oh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Looking back now, it was great. It was great. It really, really did. Yeah. It must have been nice to actually stay in the ring for a decent amount of time. I know Belfast was wicked, you looked amazing in Belfast. But nice, I guess, be in the ring and under the lights and spend some time there as well. Yeah, um, in Belfast, obviously, at Carbon College, you know. So, listen, I felt better tonight than I did in Belfast. And the head me over and everything else was all spot on tonight. I think um, I think there's another level there to show. I just haven't put it out of the bag yet. So, we, we keep on walking back in the gym, uh, me and the team, and um, hope we're back out for the end of the year again. I know you'll enjoy tonight. Probably a better question for Francis, I guess. Um, but what's next on the cards? A defence of that and looking to move even further up into maybe the top 15? Or I know I heard the word European mentioned as well. Yeah, well, we're, we're, we're um, hopefully top 15 by the end of the, uh, end of the year. And then um, up then top 15, or top 10 then onwards. So we keep on pushing up. So that's the goal anyways. And um, yeah, European towards uh, mid-year next year. 20, I'll be only 24 years of age, plenty of time. Um, it's actually, it's mad because I've got so much experience now. So we keep on pushing forward and with these towards. You need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day.